let's talk about asking your higher self for help. If you didn't know you could do that, that's what I'm going to talk about here. And it's just so easy to do. But you know what? We don't always do it. <laughs> I know I didn't always do it either. But now that I am and I see the results, I just have to share it with you. I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an awakening coach and energy healer. And I love to speak about all things to do with raising your vibration and living a life that you love, which is my website, lovemylife.coach. So let's talk about working with your higher self. So if you haven't been doing that, if you've never even thought of doing that, this is really one of the best ways to receive help from outside of your conscious reality, <laughs> right? Um, so, you know, we have this higher self. We are, you know, we are spirit, right? We're living in this body here on the planet right now on the earth. So our higher self has had, you know, is aware of, knows our truth, the whole truth. It's been with us for many, many lifetimes. It knows what things our soul wants to experience and it can lead us to all of our answers if we just ask. So that's really what I wanted to get into today and especially since there is so much changing going on, the vibration of the planet is truly lifting and you know if you pay attention you could feel it. And you'll notice changes within yourself. Now, yes, part of this is that we're purging a lot of old stuff. I know I've just been going through it. One of my previous videos speaks exactly to that, where I was really sunken in and then I came out of it. <laughs> I mean, that's what we're doing, right? We're in and out of purging these old realities, old energies, old patterns, beliefs, and bringing in new, higher vibrational energies. So the cool thing is that it makes it even easier for us to connect to our higher self to receive messages. Um, and one way that you can know, or at least I've been finding lately that I've been feeling so much more connected, especially after all the stuff I've been purging. Um, and let me tell you a lot of it, I don't even know, I'm not even consciously aware of what it is. I'm just allowing it to process, you know, so through whatever experience might really knock me down, I know that it serves a purpose because I am actually really literally letting go of stuff. And the way I've proven that to myself is that coming out of it, I will notice things like my, I have a much more heightened sensitivity. I've always been sensitive, but now it's even more sensitive. But the cool thing is that I'm sensitive to my connection to everything. Okay, so there are times when, and for me, it's been happening in a lot more in nature to do with being outside in the air, you know, on the earth, <laughs> maybe barefoot on the grass, but just being out among the trees and the birds and all of that, not just in my home, but when I, it seems like when I step outside, I, I can feel this connection to everything. Like there's no separation. Like I'm literally a part of all of it. And the way I notice that a lot is that I'll feel this, like, it feels like, uh, exhilarating, uh, like, like so much energy, it's almost overwhelming, but in the very best of ways, like maybe the lighting is just so, and it's like everything. I just feel the connection to everything. Now it may not last for a long time. So this is what's important about this video and why I really wanted to make it is that during those times, even if it's only for a minute, right? Um, or maybe you only have a minute to allow yourself to be in that connection because you happen to be somewhere where you had to be, but you just stop for a second. We're in total present time and could feel your connection to everything. Well, that is a perfect time to speak to your higher self because you are in such a high vibration that it's easy for you to actually receive back from your higher self, consciously be aware of it. Now your higher self is sending you messages all the time. Your higher self is leading you to where you need to go because it knows. So 
if there are things that you want to manifest in your life or things that are going on that you just in your rational mind especially when that ego mind comes in and starts giving you all the fearful doubtful reasons why something can't be or whatever um, we want to just let all of that go and co connect into sorry that truck really just just distracted me bring myself back yeah so you want to get into feeling that connection and talking to your higher self because you'll feel it you'll receive it more even if you don't receive it that moment you will later on because your higher self knows where you're going always guiding you always directing you so why don't we be a little more conscious of this by actually being present noticing what you feel i i think that too many people don't realize what a receptor of energy that they are and they don't stop to notice and to allow themselves to feel so when those things happen to me and i'm just feeling this exhilaration like like uh, like like it's almost like just this joy just comes over me right that's the time when i i like to put out there the things that i want to manifest and i just say you know higher self lead me to this you know whatever this is show me what is next you know or um yeah i'm just open to your guidance and just take me where i'm meant to be this is what i want this is what i'm putting out there to be created and i'm asking for your help to get there i mean it's simple it's as simple as that so um what else did i want to talk about? i made a couple of notes here okay yeah so these other two really important things so you know when you're in that really high vibe right if you're paying attention and everybody's there, you're in and out of it, so start paying attention to it. If you think that this doesn't happen for you, it does. You just haven't lined up with it energetically to notice it. So why don't you just, yeah, so you don't even believe it, right? So it's in higher self, you know, this girl Linda on the YouTube channel, she says that I can talk to you and that you can lead me where I want to go. So if this is true, show me. Maybe she's right. I mean, I guess I shouldn't just discount it, but show me. I want to have my own experience because when you have your own experience of this, it, in the least, smallest of ways, it, it actually will propel you higher, further, um, exponentially because now you have your own experience, your own truth. It's just not a bunch of people talking about it on videos or whatever it might be. So yeah so play with that even if it maybe to start for those who don't think that they can do this just go outside go to a park and just sit and be and notice all the things you can that make you feel good and you know express your gratitude like wow i am so grateful that whatever 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 even if, if it's just that i have that I've actually allowed myself to take a few minutes to sit in nature and notice all the good things around me, right? Maybe it's as simple as that. That starts to open up, oh, oh, clear away resistance actually, and open up to possibilities of what more could come. Because, I mean, really, let's just be like little kids again. Let's just pretend that we are these magnificent manifestors and that we can create and do anything because that's really the truth of it. So you want to find your way back to that feeling. So I'm just suggesting that you go out into nature because for me, that's the easiest way to do it and just be present. Notice all the beauty. Notice the leaves on the trees, the flowers, the birds. Listen to the sounds that you hear. Feel the breeze come across. Feel the heat of the sun, whatever, whatever it is. Notice the rocks, you know? Um, yeah, there's just so much to be grateful for that's always there, that is such in such abundance, you know? There's no limitation to the trees around you, the rocks around you, the blades of grass around you. I mean, really, there's always something you could be grateful for. So, tuning into nature really helps you get there. Now, since I've been doing this more and more and more, I'll find that even just seeing a particular butterfly, especially this one that I have tattooed on my arm because this was a spirit guide for me, I see that go by and I'm instantly like, I'm like in awe of it. 
it's a butterfly. I'm in awe of it, right? Um, let's see, I had hummingbirds visiting me the other day. Hummingbirds represent joy. I'm like, wow, my vibe is because I haven't seen hummingbirds in my on my property in eight years. <laughs> and I know that because right the day after I saw them again, and I went outside, I put the sugar in the in the feeder again, just because and I've been doing that for years, but they haven't been coming because it came. The next day I saw an old Facebook post. It was when I got to take a picture of this hummingbird, it actually stood there. Like it was fluttering around, and I'm like, oh, I gotta get my camera. One, get, get. It stood there. I took the picture, and then it, whew, as soon as I took the picture, it took off. So it was one of those things that popped up. It says eight years ago today. I'm like eight years ago. So when the last time I had a, a hummingbird, a real life hummingbird, come into my experience, and so I was just like milking that, and now. Being in that, coming up to that vibration of, wow, the, I'm in awe of this little hummingbird. It just gave me so much joy. They're coming. I'm seeing them again more. So that's like they've rediscovered my home because now I'm maybe in alignment with them to be able to be there. Maybe they've always been there, but I just never would see them because I just wasn't lining up with them, right? So um, so that's cool. So, there, so a lot of things, even like the lighting. Like, you know, there's that golden hour where, you know, the, the light outside is very golden. Well, go outside in that because that's very, that, for me anyway, I just feel this, I feel the vibration of it and it just lifts me up and I feel so connected to everything. So then I'll talk to my higher self. This is what I think is going on. And, you know, if this is the wrong direction, lead me in the right direction because I trust you, you know you know, more than I do as to what I'm here for at this time in this space. So, okay, I, I'm rambling on. I want to see if there's anything else on my list. Uh, yeah, basically that was it. Like really, I feel like now's a time where it's easier and easier to really be connected to your higher self. So, um, yeah, play with that. Leave me comments if there's anything that um, stuck out to you about what I've just said. <laughs> if you're still here listening, then I'm assuming that possibly there is. So I want to pick a card here from this vibrational energy deck. And it says, life is a beach. Life is a beach. Okay, that light is kind of in the way. There we go. Life is a beach. Um, all right, let's see what that's about. I like this deck because it's got this little short paragraphs for um, descriptions. And uh, I feel like this is really going to be like perfect. Um, I don't know this card though. So let's read it. It says life is a beach. There's a similar term we all know and understand. L there is a similar term we all know and understand. Living in disharmony that life always seems to hand you lemons needs to be redirected and realigned. Oh, this is reminding me of something else I wanted to talk about. Um, it is the place where you currently wallow in self-pity and bring yourself down even more. Accept each vibrational experience as a lesson and move on. So that's interesting because I uh, I, I didn't even read it in my notes there. I wanted to talk about um, saying no to resistance. Like when that resistance starts bubbling up, and it will, you can just put the brakes on it and be like, no, I'm sorry, I am not going there. Like you're telling your ego mind, that fearful aspect of it, that doubtful one that tells you you're not good enough or that this can never happen or how do you think, blah, 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 all that stuff. You're just going to say no. And when those thoughts come in, like, oh, you know, I don't think I can, how, no one's ever going to want to buy that product from me or whatever it is you're trying to do or change or I, I can never get hired for that. I'm too old now or, you know, whatever those thoughts are, you're immediately going to say cancel that sorry not going there right so that's resistance popping up and you're just going to look it square in the face and say listen you know what sorry i'm working with my higher self and we got this thing going on and so i know by now hopefully you know this by now right that i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna entertain those lower vibrational thoughts old story moving on all right that was cool I like that because I, I really did want to talk about that. Um, all right, so let's go to, I want to go to Sonia Choquette. It's the Trust Your Vibes 
oracle cards. And let's see what we have here. Play. <laughs> yep. That's it. I'm not even going to read it from the book. You want to get into that playful mind. Play. Have fun. Right? When So if that's life's giving you lemons, like, okay, nope. I don't want to have that right now. I'm going to go out and I'm going to play. So for me, playing in nature, like even I've been doing this whole, I've been redoing my landscaping. I've been chopping down branches and uh, you name it. I've been doing it. <laughs> Hauling big logs around. Um, that's kind of like play, even though it was hard work, but it was, I, I was just in this energy of just being more playful. So I was actually doing something because I like, you know, I think moving your body really moves things and helps you to really be in alignment with your higher self as well. You know, movement, spirit, spirit likes to move with you. So if you're in motion, you can invite that energy in, you know, guides, angels, masters, higher self, soul, all of it. Have a party, play with them all, even if it's just in your own little mind or or, or go out, you know, go to the movies, go have fun, call some friends, do, do something that puts you in that more playful, lighthearted energy. Again, saying no to that ego mind when it wants to throw you all these different thoughts that do not support you, that do not move you forward. All right, cancel those stories, moving on to the new stuff. And let's just get an angel card. We'll just end this reading with an angel card. And we have law of attraction okay happen to be a master certified law of attraction energy coach <laughs> so I, I i love this because really all that i'm talking about now is actually being in that higher vibration right opening yourself up note in the present time here and now noticing all of the beautiful good things around you see like when you're in that higher vibration guess what universe is going to give you more of it Right, so that ego voice comes in, that worrisome thing saying, no, 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 I can't do that. Da, 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 da. You know, old stories of what people have told you as you've been growing up, that was not your story. It was their story implanted upon you, right? Even if they was well-meaning, it wasn't your story, but you adopted it. Like a lot of these old patterns and programs, this is stuff that I clear with my clients. And it's very real. It's there, right? So we want to get rid of all of that. But the way you can even do it for yourself is just find ways to feel good. Because in that higher vibration, all that you want will come. And your higher self knows what that is. So you're like, you know what? Make a deal with your higher self. Listen, I'm going to stay in a high vibe. I'm going to do whatever I can to lift myself up. And I get drop, dropped back down. And I'm relying on you to take me towards what's meant for me that is for my highest and best good, right? And it'll all come as long as you stay in that higher vibration, you put out, you don't even, like, I don't even, for me, working with the higher self is, you don't say exactly what you want. You can state that, what you want. This is what I feel is what's best for me. But higher self, if you know better, lead me to that because your higher self does know better than your conscious self so get in tune with that higher self you know meditate let the good stuff i'm, I'm pointing at my meditation seat let the good stuff drop into you keeping that vibration high because when your vibration's high you're only sending out good stuff to the universe law of attraction is going to send it right back to you so let's send out the good stuff all right this might be kind of a long video, so I'm going to end it here. I would love to hear your comments. Um, please like, share uh, the video, and subscribe. Yeah, ring that bell so you know when the next video comes out. Um, and I really, I'm really grateful that I get to speak to you through these videos. Because as things come up for me, hey, I'm going to share them with you because we are all one. Everybody's connected. We're all at different aspects or part places on this journey. And so anyone who wants to, um, or, or anyone who's drawn to these videos, there must be something in it for you. And so that's, that feeds my soul, right? Because I don't want to keep putting videos out, information out through many different ways 
so that I can help people to come into that space where they can love their life, right? And live from their heart. Oh, that was one more thing. Follow your heart, right? Your higher self, your heart, totally connected. Your, your heart is like your GPS to know which way to go. So feel, your higher self can talk to you through the sensations in your body. So feel your way to things as long as you're feeling it from your heart and not from any kind of fear energy or any lower vibrational energy. It's always from the energy of love. Love will never steer you in the wrong direction. So follow your heart, talk to your higher self. I'll see you on another video. Bye.